Hey, today I'm trying mango chutney. I really love this condiment. It's great with most meat, beef, chicken, lamb. Doesn't matter what, it adds a little extra some. It's delicious with cheese too. It's very versatile, so it's worth having a jar of it in your fridge. So let's give it a try. So the first thing we need are the mangoes. Here I have some green East Indian. Green mangoes are a lot more tangy and the texture is more firm when it's cooked. You don't have to use green mangoes though, but a mango chutney made with ripe mangoes will be mushy. It's fine if you're into that. I'm just roughly dicing my mangoes, as well as half an onion, a piece of red bell pepper, garlic and scotch bonnet pepper. Just a bit. Ginger is another key ingredient which I had to add off camera because I forgot. All my ingredients go into a pan and I add about half a cup of vinegar. I would have needed more if I used ripe mangoes but these green mangoes are already really tangy. 2 teaspoons coriander powder, 2 teaspoons cumin powder, about 2 tablespoons of raisins. This is optional but I really like the texture. And I'm adding about 2 cups of water. Most of this will reduce while we cook. Orange juice is a nice substitute here. So the pan goes on on medium heat. I'll be adding sugar after the mangoes are cooked a bit. Sugar might draw out all the water from the raw mangoes and they end up shrink. Cooking stops this from happening. Mix everything together and give it a few minutes to boil. Come back after 6 minutes. Add salt to taste. A little extra is okay because this is a condiment. It's meant to be had with other food. I'm going to add about a cup and a half of sugar. If I was using ripe mangoes, I would have used less, but I always taste and adjust. I'm using brown sugar. Any sugar is fine. I'm adding a generous splash of white rum. Most of the alcohol will boil off, but it still adds a nice flavor. That's almost done. To set it reduce until it gets a bit thick and the colors get darker. Around 10 to 15 minutes should have strong flavors it's okay if it tastes a bit too tangy spicy or salty it's a condiment that complements other food so it should be kind of strongly flavored yeah that look good this keeps really well in the fridge couple weeks you can grab it anytime you want to add a little something extra to your meals so let's try it with some salt fish fritters That's nice. 